morning guys, about 5.30 here, and in the morning we always try to do most of our prints, you guys are probably noticing that already. Um, right now, I'm doing a revised uh, graphic that has taken me a lot of time due to the amount of detail, and these are not able to be reproduced, mainly because you need a very, very, very good cutter to actually formulate the accuracy around the vector lines. These are aircraft gauges. And again, to get this detail exactly the way it's supposed to be, we want to have them with a slight bleed so there's no white, and we also want them with full clarity. Of course, the Epson, there's no problem with clarity there. The resolution is just ridiculous. Uh, but again, to do these properly, you've got to have the right cutter. And now that we've got the Suma, the T75 series, these should come out absolutely flawless, um, especially considering that most of them are round. And then again, we're also dealing with uh, certain ones that are more in a rectangular shape, but to really get those round gauges perfect, there's no other way to go but true tangential emulation. So again, uh, this is the first part of the video of me actually printing them, and then I'll show you how they come out as we start doing the cut on the Suma. Okay guys, we are using the Suma again, and you can see here that she's doing measuring right now. She's counting them reg marks. You can see how many of these there are and how fast this process is. It's very violent, actually. This is why this machine is the only machine for this project. You can see that head lifting and pivoting on every graphic and the amount of speed it generates. Weed box. What's really impressive is when we get to the smaller graphics, the smaller gauges that are about a half inch, is the amount of detail this unit will, will retain. Just to give you guys an idea, a graphic of this sort with this amount of detail, not just in the cuts, but it would take probably about 25 to 30 minutes to cut on a Graph Tech. Uh, we had a CE6000, the standard series, not the plus, easily, and you'd have to turn the machine down really, really slow to try to keep them circles as concentric as possible, no matter what you try. You'd always get a little bit of excess white. This, I guarantee you, will not be the case. Again, you can see the level of detail in the smaller gauges. Again, we're cutting at 24 inches per second, which is absolutely ridiculous considering, again, we have an abundance of speed left in this machine. If we wanted to turn it up, I don't have G performance actually activated. Again, I think the <laughs> the performance of it speaks for itself and you really you can't appreciate it until you actually see it in action. Take care guys. These are the final product and you can see how these gauges come out and the detail is just amazing. I mean right down to about a five millimeter cut circle. Um, you can see these are full bleed. So again uh, the imagery is is pretty much dead nuts on. We got the vibrancy on the green. Uh, the sat is naturally uh, filled in correctly. And you can see 
when you're doing level of detail like this, everything counts, especially when we're looking at circles, and that's where that tangential head really shines because, again, your circles and symmetry always come out virtually perfect. Um, stuff like this I would not recommend attempting with a graph tech or another type of cutter unless you spend hours doing calibration, which I've personally done. Um, you can still get very similar results. You're just going to put in a lot of time. Um, this equipment, again, it, this is what it's designed for, and I think the results speak for itself. And again, we always get questions on our material, and you can see here under the light, the reflection you get using the 3M8518 with the actual uh, white glossy vinyl that we offer. And we're very particular about the vinyl. Something else I want to bring up that I don't know if other vendors even cover this, we use a wet application method for applying our actual uh, lamination. And the reason we do is because when you use water on laminate, if you use a proper technique, you don't get dust. A lot of times on graphics, you'll find that inside the graphic, you'll find hidden pieces of dust. And we don't get dust because we understand the wet application method, no different than a painter who understands laying down a nice coat of water uh, in their spray booth before spraying, they actually get a similar result. Well, that's exactly what we do. And if you look, you can see exactly what I mean. These are crystal clear. Um, when you get those hairs and weird abnormalities inside the print, I will not send a print out that has that. A lot of guys find different variables and anomalies in their prints and will still send them because they feel, you know, it's minuscule, that's kind of nitpicking. We don't believe in that. We want it to be, uh, again, something I personally would use. And when we're doing scale projects like this, and you want to have a, you know, as true to life, so to speak, as possible, every little detail counts. And again, the clarity on the gauges, the colors on the gauges, you can see they're virtually dead nuts on. Again, going over it with the color spectrometer, making sure everything looks right. And you can see the effect even in the smaller scale. So again, wrapping up the video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. You'll see some more projects shortly. Thank you for the support.